Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Sparks and this is Game Mode 4, the series where we create command block modules that change and modify the gameplay experience and today we have a new module, Tauber Cauldrons. This module was originally made for the Hermitcraft Game Mode 4 series by Bluefire for 1.8 and was never publicly released. He's just finished redoing the module from scratch with tons of new features and bug fixes and it runs surprisingly well for all of its complexity. This is the first module since the new command blocks were introduced that requires more than one command block to install, so let me just quickly explain that you want to get the install command block codes from the Game Mode 4 website gm4.co. Copy the first command, place it into a command block and click Always Active. This will install the first part of the module right next to this first command block. Then, copy the second command and paste it into any command block placed anywhere and it will add another section to the module. There are four commands in total, just import them one at a time. There is also a sign on this module that you need to right click as part of the installation process. This allows it to have special coloured text for items it uses. Just like every Game Mode 4 module, this is 16 blocks long in the X and too wide in the Z, but because it's quite complex it is very tall. Be careful you don't destroy anything in the way when installing this. You can also import this using a single structure block file by downloading the file from the site, pasting it into the structure folder and importing it using the name Zauber underscore cauldrons. You won't have to click any signs using this method. This module has a lot of features including an easter egg and even a progression tree. I recommend you take a look at the game mode for wiki for a detailed explanation. In this video I'll cover the different types of things you can do with some examples and you can play with the rest yourself. Once the module is installed, any cauldron in your world can become a Zauber cauldron. All it needs is fire below it, some water inside it, and a player reading an enchanted book while stood right next to it. Once the cauldron becomes active, the water inside will start steaming. Tauber Cauldrons allows you to brew seven types of tier 4 potion, though creating these can be hazardous or even fatal to brewers, so take care. All the potions require a tier 2 potion, a regular golden apple, and a prismarine crystal to trigger the recipe. Always throw the crystal in last. As an example, let's throw in a potion of strength 2, a golden apple, and a prismarine crystal. Along with a bit of mayhem, you'll see that it has given me a potion of strength 4, and the water's been used up. You'll need to top it up to use it again. There are several other potions you can brew, take a look at the wiki for more information. It is possible to infuse golden armour with magical properties, though this can be fairly pricey. First, you'll need an enchanted prismarine shard. This is created by standing next to a cauldron with at least 40 levels on you and throwing a prismarine shard into the cauldron. An enchanted prismarine shard will be created. By throwing this shard, along with any golden armour piece and another item, you can apply a 25% magic stat and imbue it with the power to raise either your max health, your attack damage, your speed or your knockback resistance while wearing the armour. Each armour piece can store one of these attributes as well as the magic stat, and you can mix and match their strengths and combinations by wearing more golden armour pieces. As an example, we're going to boost our maximum health by throwing in a golden helmet, a glistering melon, and finally, and always last, our enchanted prismarine shard. This will create a new helmet with a health raising stat and a magic stat. Golden armour can be enchanted in the regular way before and after this process, and it doesn't need full durability when you create it. The most difficult items you can create using this module are crystals. A successfully created crystal will, when carried by a player, give them an effect of either speed, resistance, fire resistance or regeneration depending on which type of enchanted book is used to create it. The effect will be lost if the crystal is lost or otherwise removed from the player's inventory, and the effect is only active while a player is feeling lucky. We'll discuss luck in a second. You can craft these special crystals using a sea lantern, a nether star, and a tier 4 enchanted book. Here I'm using a projectile protection 4 book to get the speed effect, and when I throw all three items into the cauldron, my crystal is created. You'll see that the speed boost is not applied. This is because I don't have the luck potion effect at the moment. Don't worry about placing the crystal if you're into ridiculously expensive decorations. If you do, you can break it and pick it back up without anything bad happening. The crystals require a certain amount of luck to use. Literally. They can only be used if the player has the luck potion effect. To get this, you need to have 100% magic, which means you're wearing a full set of infused golden armour, an enchanted prismarine shard, and flowers. While wearing your armour, throw some tall grass into the cauldron. Then throw in some flowers. 
The more types of flower you throw in, the higher the chance of getting the luck effect will be, and the longer the effect will last, but you'll also be setting yourself up for a longer poison effect, so make sure you're doing this in a safe place. There's a full luck mechanic breakdown on the wiki, or you can experiment yourself to see what works. You'll need to throw at least four flowers in after your grass to have a chance of getting the luck effect. Once you're done, throw in your enchanted prismarine shard. Thank you as always for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks to our patrons who helped bring you this video, and to our terrific translators who are listed in the video description. As always, you can get the one-click installer code from the website in the video description, and seriously, read all about tab recordings on the Game Mode 4 wiki. The module was created by Bluefire, and it's pretty awesome if you ask me. He's put so much work into this module, and wrote the entire wiki article for it too, which is great, because I don't really understand it. That's it for today, I'll see you all next time. Just like every Game Mode 4 module, this is 16 blocks long and my alarm is going off.